Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you could give me a thumbs up, hit that like, subscribe, share button, and ring that bell. I sure appreciate it. Alright, let's get into our game day. Let's uh, go over some games that we got going on today. Uh, first, we got number one Clemson at Georgia Tech. The Yellow Jackets. Do they really think they gonna beat Clemson? Do they even have a chance to score on Clemson? I don't think so. I see uh, Clemson taking this game by far. Uh, this game should be over in, in the first quarter. Uh, Clemson just got too much of a offense and they got a better defense in Georgia Tech and I don't see Georgia Tech's offense scoring too many points on that defense uh, next game we got is a uh, pit at number 13 Miami now I do believe Miami takes this game uh, Manny Diaz has turned this uh, Miami program around this season and they're doing a lot better than they was at the beginning so I'm looking for Miami to take this game over Pitt next game we got number 15 Auburn at South Carolina Gamecock <laughs> Who names your team the Game Cops? Gus Malzahn versus Will Muschamp. I do believe Will Muschamp will be on the hot seat after this game. Auburn does take this game today. Gamecocks lose and they can go back to their little uh, rooster pen or whatever you want to <laughs> call it. Gamecocks. Yeah. Auburn wins this game. Next we got Kentucky at number 18 Tennessee. That's going to be a pretty good game. Uh, both defenses are average. Now, Tennessee does have the better quarterback in this game and the better running backs. And I don't see Kentucky containing Tennessee's running back all four quarters. So Tennessee will come out on top on this one. Next, we have Ole Miss at Arkansas. Lane train rolling into Arkansas. That's going to be a pretty good game. But the lane train will roll into Arkansas and will roll out of Arkansas with a win. I believe Ole Miss just has the better offense. And they have real two good quarterbacks, so whichever quarterback you put in is going to perform. And now, I watched their uh, running backs 
when they played Alabama last weekend, and them boys can scat. That is two good running backs that can fly in open space. Next, we have Texas A&M at Mississippi State. Jimbo Fisher. Can he come out with a win? Will they beat Mississippi State? Now, Mississippi State started off pretty strong the beginning of the season. They beat LSU. But are they going to get by Texas A&M? I don't believe so. I believe Jimbo Fisher, Texas A&M, comes out on top. Uh, Kellen Mond is the better quarterback in this game. And they do have some pretty good weapons. Then, 8 o'clock tonight, you have Georgia versus Alabama in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> Will Nick Saban get curb stomped? Oh, yeah. If Alabama thinks that offense is going to dominate over Georgia's defense, think again, Gump. Georgia's defense is number one in the country. And they've shown why all season. Now they've had defenses in the past but they ain't had a defense as good as this one this is this defense is just too strong way much depth and I can tell you it is crazy and ridiculous how you can take your first string out and put them on the bench and bring in your second and third string players and they play just as good. Now, the offense does have to step up and they have to step up in a major way. Georgia cannot turn the ball over and make no mistakes in this game tonight. They will have to be on their A game. Now, can they do that? I believe they can. This is Stetson Bennett's biggest game of the of his career and can he step up and deliver can these receivers get open can they actually get off of these DB's and get in open space in order to bend it find them and give them the ball Eight o'clock tonight. This is going to be a game. Everybody will be tuned in to this game.
The dogs will roll in the Tuscaloosa and come out with the win. I want to go back to Clemson and Georgia Tech. That's like the game cops. Who names your team the Yellow Jackets? Yellow Jackets? More or less bumblebees. <laughs> uh. But I tell you, the way the season has gone and we're playing all these teams, it just gets me that if we're, if we're playing these teams the way we are this season, why can't it just be normal schedule like it was last year? I know a lot of fans want to see rival games. Florida State and Florida. Georgia, Georgia Tech. Alabama, Auburn. Miami, Florida State. Kentucky, Louisville. I say the schedule should have just stayed the same as it was all last season. But once again, with everything going on, it's, it's just got a lot. It's just a mess. Some good old coffee first thing this morning. Ain't nothing like it. Get hyped. Get excited. <laughs> There's going to be some good games today. Yeah, look at that. I am ready for some football today. Who isn't ready? It is game day. And it kicks off at 12 o'clock. You know, I wonder what Gump's thinking right now. The dogs are in town, ready to go. And I do think and believe the Gump 
is worried about Georgia's defense. And he knows we have a defense this year. And that will be proven tonight. and pump and excited for this game. Georgia, Alabama. Everybody will be tuned in to this game tonight. <sighs> Kick off. To start the day, 12 o'clock. Then the biggest game of the day, 8 o'clock tonight. Dogs versus Tide. Bama. <laughs> get ready to get and be curb stomp. Oh, watching all these other earlier games. Just in anticipation and the build up to the biggest game tonight. I tell you, sometimes I, I, I don't like late games. You got to sit and wait and wait and wait and wait. Start getting impatient. But boy, it's going to be worth waiting. Y'all do me a favor. Y'all go watch my uh, last videos. Hope y'all enjoy them. And give me a thumbs up. Hit that like, subscribe, share button. And hit that bell for me if you wouldn't mind. Before I go, go dogs.